how can people be so desperate um and how can they be so like you know just just so desperate for a man hi and welcome back to my channel my name is Cindy hope you guys are well hope you're doing great I am still recovering from this cold so that's why my voice is sounding spud deep like this so you guys are gonna have to excuse me sorry I keep calling you guys y'all or you will have you all will have to excuse me in this video today I wanted to come on here and share something with you at some point last week um, I, I think I've shared a couple of times on here about the hallelujah challenge and how I've taken part in it and everything and you know my husband was um part of the finale he was ministered on the on the last day which was the finale day by the grace of god hallelujah thank you jesus and um there was the hallelujah festival the day before that and you know what i thought was really amazing was one of the, the dress code was that everybody was to show up like their miracle and let me tell you that's not an easy thing to do like it's not an easy thing to do and there was like thousands of people um i saw the pictures i'm not going to put them on here because obviously i'm going to share people's random pictures but if you know you can go out and check you can have a look and you know you can see people came up came came in their miracles like came dressed as their miracle and what i found was amazing was like there were many women that came and like you know in outfits that resembled wedding dresses you know people wearing various things but those were the ones that stuck out the most because i guess you're wearing white you've got a veil on that's the one that stuck out the most unfortunately it was like posted on blogs and obviously like in a way to i guess essentially mock them and you know the people on the online now one minute they see something they must start to think peace so this is why da -da 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 -da. Not knowing the context, not understanding the context, but putting down the whole thing piece. And one really pissed me off. Maybe I shouldn't use that term. But one really ticked me off. It was a, this woman that had basically said that, you know, she had addressed a picture of a lady that was dressed like um, a bride. And she said that, how can people be so desperate? Um, and how can they be so like you know just just so desperate for a man this one that one i couldn't read the whole thing because for me it was utter vile and two it was like she was chatting rubbish in my opinion uh, first of all my my own thing was like is it your wearing is it is it you is it your wearing is it you doubt they told did, did they say that you should not come and dress as your own miracle if i was to say that i'm manifesting whatever because that's a new word that people love online manifesting and taking out jesus from the equation it would probably be more widely accepted by the world but when it when it when it comes to um things of god people obviously especially when they're not christians they will not understand the things of the spirit that's just the bottom line but i wanted to talk about this on here because i wanted to encourage anybody that may feel silly because let me tell you i've done it before I told you I want to share my own testimony in due course. I've done it before. And when I did it, I felt silly. I It wasn't about a wedding. It wasn't that, like I didn't dress up at my wedding. But I dressed like my miracle. And I did feel silly initially because that's what your initial reaction would be as a human being. Like, because we are flesh first. And then, you know, the spirit of God then takes over. And I remember I felt silly doing it. And I just was like, for a moment, and then I just had to kind of be like, okay, no, I'm, I'm believing, I believe you, God, I believe you, and I'm going to, I'm going to go with it, I'm going to trust you, and I was praising, dressed as my miracle, and my miracle came to pass. Let me tell you, don't let anybody speak down about what you are, what, what God has shown you. Don't let anybody speak down about what God has shown you, especially people that don't even know who God is. Mm. Because let me tell you, he confounds the foolish things. <laughs> let me just come on, come on, come in here, oh God. Ew. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Let me tell you what it says in 1 Corinthians 1.27. But God hath chosen the foolish things 
of the world to confound the wise. And God have chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. You know, things that look dumb, th- things that look silly, things that look like oh, absurd. So like to the world and to the wise, because to them they are wise. That's why you will write. That's, only, that's the only reason why you will write a whole think piece, because you think you are wise. So the thing that you are seen as foolish, The thing that you're seeing that's foolish because somebody is dressing up like her miracle and for a miracle for her is to get married and you have taken it to be, oh, she's desperate for a man. Oh, you just don't know God. You cannot know God and think that small because God, like he just uses the smallest things, the foolish things. And it confounds. What does confound mean? Let's, let's, let's break down this English. Let's break down because we can speak the big English in Confound means to cause surprise or confusion in someone, especially by not according with their expectations. What? That's an... Please, please. Do I have anything more to say about that? To confound the wise, to confuse the person that thinks that they are wise because all they can see is the physical. They cannot see the spiritual manifestation that is happening. Let me tell you, when you are told by someone that you know has the Holy Spirit, to come as your miracle, you bet you better come as your miracle. Come dress like your miracle, behave like you're living in your miracle, Be- do the things that say that I am in my miracle, right? And watch God work. Because us, me as a parent, right? If I see my child, trust me, like if I see Bramie trusting me so much, pretending, to, like when she does pretend play, pretending like, She's a princess and she's doing princessy things and all that stuff. And, you know, she's saying, and she's doing like, oh, I'm such a princess. My mom is a queen. Will I not be drawn to like, oh, my darling, I want to treat you more like a princess. Like, you know, for me anyway, as a mother, things that bring joy to my daughter, like I've shared here, you know, I want to do it. How much more, my God, my father, you know, the things that are at his fingertips, that it's not even, it doesn't cause him, he doesn't even have to stir in order for me to have them. So if it's that, your miracle is that you want to get married, you want to have a baby, you want to get, you want to live in a beautiful house, whatever it is, right? Start living as though and start dressing as though you are in your miracle. You want to get that amazing job. Dress like your miracle. If it's that you have to go to, uh, what do you call it, Okrika, and buy blazer or Ukrika is thrift, thrift store here as well. Thrift store, wherever. And you need to buy a blazer to be wearing to the, to the menial job that you're doing. Maybe you're not, you're not necessarily in a corporate job, but you would like to be. Dress like that. Start dressing like that to work. Trust me. Don't trust me. Trust the word of God. Trust the word of God. Right? And it also says in Romans 4.17, it says, As it is written, I have made you a father of many nations. He is our father in the sight of God, in whom he believed. The God who gives life to the dead and calls into being things that were not. Like, God called the earth into being, right? He took seven days, like, okay, six days, and he rested on the seventh. He took those six days to call things forth with his mouth. I say with his mouth, I don't know what his mouth looks like. But he called them to be. And we are made in his image. So are we not supposed to call things into being, even though they're not? The earth was not before God called it to be. And that's the same thing that we have to do as children of faith, as children of, as children of God. And all these new age manifesting, da, 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 it's, it may work because they're using the principle of the kingdom. This new age of manifesting, I manifested this, I manifested that. Do you know how much effort it takes to manifest? A lot more effort than it takes to call things in faith into being. Because I have God. I'm not saying that I'm doing it. I have God. I'm using the principles. I am using the principles of the kingdom. And I tr- and I know that my father is the one that is allowing it and enabling it to happen. Whereas those that are calling manifestation in the new age rules are based is based on their own efforts. They've still got a struggle and oh, 
and try to fight and get it done. That is the difference, and that difference is huge. Because I'm not doing it in my own strength. I'm doing it in the strength. It's the strength of the Lord that is, that is pushing me. And my mind is what needs to be shifted towards the things I desire. I have to change my mindset. So if you want something, I'm speaking, and I know that I'm speaking to quite a number of you guys now. If you want something and it feels so far, you feel so far removed from that thing, it's like, it's like it can't even be possible. Trust me, I've had people tell me that some of the things that I want is uh -uh, eating the yoni as much. Uh -uh. And before their very eyes, it, God caused it to be. God has allowed it to be. I believed it would be. That's all I needed to do was to have faith that it would be. And my mind needed to be in that frame. And, it, and then it happened before their eyes. Do you understand? Like, it's not because, it's not because I am such, I am, you know, oh, I'm such a great person or because I'm so special. Well, I am special to God. We're all special to God. But because I believe God, I believe him and I can, I have audacity. Yeah, I have a, I have the audacity to say that my father can and my father will. Not me. It is not I who lives, but Christ who lives within me. So if you're sitting there thinking, oh, that thing I, you know, is just too far. It's just too hard. People in my family, it's not things that people in my family do. Why can you not be the first to do it? Why? Because they've told you before that, oh, you cannot. Or somebody has said to you, oh, it's not for your family. You're, you're, it's not for your um, bloodline. Let me tell you, nothing, nothing is impossible for my God, yeah? And if, if, we are, if I believe we are serving the same God, it's not impossible for God in your life. So dress like your miracle. Walk like your miracle. If you want to get a great job, right? Let me, t especially this, is, this one is for us that have, sometimes we can have bad attitude. You want to have a great job. You want to have like, your, maybe you hate your job right now. You just hate it. It just sucks. Your manager is horrible. This one or that one. It's just a rubbish job. But let me tell you, I need you to go to that job and work, and be at that job like it's the job that you are looking forward to. Like it's the job that you've wanted all your life. I need you to, to ask God to help you to, to be blinded by the wickedness of your boss and for you to be at work super early and to work like you're working onto your father, right? And watch and, and continue to lift to God the job that you want. Put it on your vision board in your room, a physical vision board. Put a, print out a, a picture of the kind of office that you want to work in. Stick it on your wall. That's not manifest. This is, and that is a manifestation of God's promises that will come to your life because you believe him, you trust him, and there is no doubt. There's no room for doubt. There's no, like those people that came dressed as a miracle. Do you think they didn't feel silly leaving their house? Do you think that uh, the person that knows that she's not married, maybe she's even gone through heartbreak. We don't even know anyone's story. Maybe she's, got, you know, gone through heartbreak or whatever. And she then comes out of her house dressed like a bride. Who knows? She might even had a failed engagement. But she came out of her house dressed like a bride, right? And she went all the way to Ico Hotel to praise God for what he's going to do. Who's going to be laughing last? I can't wait for her testimony. I can't wait for all those ladies' testimonies. And for the other testimonies that, that the different miracles that people came dressed as, I cannot wait to hear the many, many testimonies that will come out because I know that God will do it. I have seen it. I've seen it in my life. I've seen it in the life of others. So nobody, don't allow anybody confuse you because again, he confounds the wise with the foolish things of this world, like things that seem so stupid, like, oh my God, are you kidding me? Do you understand? Like that, that person that wrote the whole think piece, Oh, I just pray that she will come to know the Lord for herself because it would, because the joy that God brings will not allow you to even write that kind of vitriol to someone you don't even know about something that you don't even understand. Do you get? Ah, oh, guys, please. The thing vexed me. I, it vexed me. Well, well. That's why I had to come and share it with you guys because I was just like, allow people to, allow people to just believe God for themselves however that may look to us sometimes some things we're like ah, ah, this person wasn't much but honestly we don't know anyone's story 
we don't we don't know their relationship with God. And I've shared before that everyone's relationship with God is personal to them. So if God has shared a mandate with them, best believe you let them do what they need to do and bless God for them and bless and bless their life and and and, and support them in prayer. And there is absolutely nothing wrong in desiring to be married as a miracle. I think now more than ever, people try to make people, people like women feel dumb or feel less than because they desire marriage. I'm not saying to be consumed by the desire of marriage, but there is absolutely nothing wrong with praying to be married and desiring to be married. Because anyone can say what they want. The reality is, you know, a lot of women desire it and a lot of men desire it. They do. And so now it's like, it's almost like a crime to admit it in, in public that, oh, I actually want to get married. There is absolutely nothing wrong with wanting to have someone to share your life with. This life, is, this life can be so lonely, especially when you're doing it on your own. I don't care how, how successful, how well someone's doing. You're doing it by yourself, it sucks. I don't care, no one can tell me different. I don't care. You can't tell me no different. They can tell you, people say, oh, you know, this one, oh. Trust me. The when you have someone that I'm not, and I'm not talking about just any man or any woman. I'm talking about having someone that supports and loves you in your space, even if they're they're a bit messy, you will not even mind because at least you have someone to go home to. You have someone to share, de- you know, excitement, th- exciting things of your life with. And if it, again, if it's not a desire of yours at all, that is fine. That is fine. But for those that it's their desire, please let them live. Ah, please allow them live. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I just wanted to say that again. If this is you, if this is speaking to you, just please go back to God. Give, ask Him to give you the boldness to walk like your miracle, to talk like your miracle, to step into your miracle, and watch Him show you the physical manifestations of what your faith will bring. They don't know. <laughs> Period. Period. As what did the Gen Z say? Period. Anyway, guys, see you tomorrow. Bye.